We've been dealing with some historic March cold in the Midwest over the last few days. Some places seeing their coldest March days on record. We're going to try to warm it up over the next few days, but there's one big factor that's going to slow that warming trend for many folks in the Midwest. And I'm going to show you that right now on our maps. It's the snow depth that we're going to see sort of impeding the warming trend across the Midwest in the coming days. Snow uh, is white, of course. Sun shines onto that white snow and then reflects right back out of, to space instead of warming the ground as it otherwise would. We've got over two feet of snow still on the ground across a large part of the Great Lakes region and uh, even down into parts of southern Iowa and central Illinois we have up to a half a foot of snow on the ground. So that is going to refrigerate the air across this area and uh, slow down the attempt at a warming trend over the next several days. Let's go to the day by day maps. You see on Wednesday, especially over the snowpack, we're still below freezing, so not a lot of thawing going on. But look at those warmer shades over the plains. They will make some progress into the mid and lower Missouri Valley on Thursday with some 40s. Then you see another shot of colder air uh, entering uh, via the Dakotas and northern Minnesota on Friday. Let's carry this out even further into the weekend because we'll try again to warm up. Saturday into Sunday, you see the greens and yellows making more progress. Even into the Dakotas, we'll see 40s and even some 50s, 60s farther south into the central plains. But again, you look farther east where the snowpack is deeper over Wisconsin and Michigan. We'll only get up into the 30s and low 40s. Enough to start melting that snow, but it's not going to be as enjoyable as it will be for folks in places like uh, Lincoln and Omaha and Kansas City and Wichita. Denver, ups and downs for you too this week. 50 Wednesday, 60s Thursday, then down on Friday and back up again by Sunday. So it's a yo-yo season temperature wise in the Midwest. But where you don't have as much snow on the ground, you're going to see your maximum temperature potential a lot higher. I'm Nick Wilchin, the Weather Channel.